Hi, in this episode I continue with the rectangle select tool, so let's get started. I'm going to skip this one for now and start with the feather edges option. By default this is off, so if I grab the rectangle select tool, click and drag like this, then enter a key to apply the selection. I'm going to use control comma to fill in with black color. You can also do this by going to the edit menu, fill with foreground color. I'm going to make another selection and this time I'm going to activate the feather edges option and let's say radius of 50 pixels. Then again I'm going to click here to apply the selection and control comma to fill in with black color. Now notice that we didn't get any feathering, this is because we started the selection before activating this option. So I'm going to draw one more rectangle, this time with this option activated, control comma, and you see now that we have this feathering edges option working properly. So for some of these options uh, you need to first modify the options and then uh, do the selection in order for them to work. So by feathering the selection you are making the edges sort of semi-transparent and this way whatever effect you apply you will only apply the effect partially. In this case I filled with a cover. Sometimes you may for example use any of the cover tools. I showed this in my previous tutorial how to make smooth transition uh, using feathering selection. You can also feather a selection by going to the select menu and choose the feather option. So this can be used in many ways to achieve different kind of effects. Now I'm going to hit ctrl z a few times to undo all this. Now let's uncheck the feather edges option. Next we have the rounded corners option. I'm going to drag like this and I'm not going to apply the selection and now I can check this option rounded corners and you see I can modify this and once I'm happy with the rounded corners I can click here to apply the selection. Notice now that the anti-aliasing option is active and now we can turn it off and on and to demonstrate what this does I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to fill this selection with black color then I'm going to create another rectangle but before that I'm going to turn this option off and then start the selection then I'm going to use control comma again to fill with black color control shift a to deselect and you see the difference here we have hard jagged edges here we have smooth edges by the way this is a very small image just 640 by 400 pixels if I zoom out you can see that here we have smooth edges and here we have these jagged edges. So depending on what you're doing, you may want to turn this off, but most of the time keep this on. I'm going to turn off the rounded corners option. Next we have the expand from center option. If I activate this, then click and drag, I'm going to be expanding from center or from the point where I clicked. You can see how this works. I think I mentioned this in the previous tutorial that the keyboard shortcut for this is control key so you need to click then hold down the control key and you're going to be expanding from center but because this option was active this actually deactivated the option now so I need to turn it off to show this click then hold down the control key and now the selection is expanding from the center and I'm going to stop here, I'm going to finish with the rest of the options in the next beginner's guide video. So that's it for this one, I hope that it was useful, if it was, like it, leave me a comment. If you are new to my tutorials, visit my channel for more and subscribe, that's it for now, bye.